Hi, good morning. It's great to see you today. It's Friday the 14th of May and I know what day it is today because it is my granddaughter Sophie, her third birthday and we had it on Wednesday and she was so excited. So I can imagine it'll be very excited in her house today. Um, no doubt we'll see them later on when we go around for our barbecue to celebrate her birthday in their garden, which will be lovely. Let's hope the weather picks up because it's not looking too great bit grey day but that's all the weather forecast you're going to get from me uh, anyway we're doing the devotion in the book of Colossians chapter 3 remember Colossians was written 60 61 AD by the Apostle Paul Paul was on his first imprisonment in Rome and and he was there writing this and uh, verse 4 we're up to we'll read verse 3 from yesterday because it fits very well with this it says this for you died to this life and your real life is hidden with Christ in God. And when Christ, who is your life, is revealed to the whole world, you will share in his glory. And when Christ, who is your life, is revealed to the whole world, you will share in your glory, in his glory. Not in your glory, in his glory. It is for his glory that we're doing things. Everything we do, everything we say is to bring glory to God. So, and when Christ, who is your life, to so Christ is our life. Acts 17 verse 28 says this, in him we live and move and have our being. We used to sing a song about that. In him we live and move and have our being. That is what we should be doing. Our, we, you know, through Christ's death on the cross, uh, we died to self, this is what it says in the, in the verse three, and it says that our lives are hidden in Christ. So that means when Jesus, when God sees us, he sees Jesus. He sees us because our lives are hidden in him. That is a safety thing. That is a, 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 an amazing thing for the, for the grace. Because when God the Father sees us, he, see, he doesn't see us in our, in our imperfect form. He sees us as Jesus. The finished work complete. So we are in him. And not only are we in him, but he is our life. He is our life. He is. Because everything we have is because Jesus, has, because God has given it to us. Our lives are in, in him. I breathe in him. I live in him. In him. In him. Always in him. In him. And when I move outside of his sphere, that's when I get myself into problems. That's when I fall into sin. That's when I think things I shouldn't think. And so my aim is that, uh, it, that I live in Christ all of my life, in every moment of every day, um, so, that I can, uh, so that I can be the person God wants me to be in Christ, in Christ. And then it makes witnessing easy. Because it's Jesus in me. I remember that with um, Assembly of God. There was a, an initiative many, many years ago. And it's called Jim. Jesus in me. Jesus in me. Christ in me. My life. He is my life. And when Jesus is the centre of your life. When Jesus. When you make Jesus the absolute centre of your life. 100% of the time. You bring glory to him. And then it says that when he is revealed. To, you know, and when Christ, who is your life, is revealed to the whole world, and we know this, one day Jesus is coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back for a beautiful, glorious bride. He's coming back, and, and there will be judgment then. There will be judgment because some will go to heaven, some will go, some will go to hell. The Christians will be judged. Uh, what have we done with our lives? Have we lived our lives for God? Have we been in Christ? Have we... Is it gold? Is it silver? Is, is it precious stones? Or is our life's work, is it just wood and paper and things that will dross and stuff that will be just burned away? And we just make it into heaven just by the skin of our teeth. So Jesus is coming back. And then when he comes back, we will share in his glory. You and I we will share in his glory. You know, at the moment, you might think well, there's not much glory. And that's right. I think that's right because Jesus came to serve and we too are to serve to serve to serve god to serve others to serve the church 
to serve our community, to, to, to serve to bring the love of Christ in. And often I find this is a, a thankless task because people uh, are either expect or ungrateful or people don't just don't just don't see the the absolute need they just don't see the relevance of the church or god in their lives because it says the god of this world has blinded their, uh, their eyes so they cannot see god's glorious light but one day they will see uh, god's glory will be revealed and they will see it uh, with their own eyes face to face but in the meantime what we need to do is that we need to be in christ and we need to, uh, uh, Christ is our life. We need to live our lives as if Jesus was, as, as if it was Jesus here right now on this earth. Live our lives at this, so, so that we can see as many touched by the power of the gospel, as many saved as we possibly can. As many, and see, because that's what we're called to do. We are called to, to make disciples. This is what Matthew 28 says, to go into the, all the world and to make disciples so that every tongue and nation, before Jesus comes back, every some people from every tribe and nation will call upon the name of Jesus as Lord and Saviour. That every tribe and nation will call upon Him, and that is our role. And then when that happens, when uh, when the time is right, and only only the Father knows. So Jesus said, "I don't." I, the Son of Man doesn't even know when when I, when He's coming back. But when He does, God's glory will be revealed to all. Jesus will come again. He will come again riding on a horse, not like he was last time on a donkey, because blessed is the name is the, is the Lord, name, one who comes in the name of the Lord, riding on a donkey, coming in peace. When Jesus comes again, he will be coming to, to, to wrap that, or everything up on a horse. He'll be coming to wrap all these things up for judgment. And so what we need to do is we need to, to, to live our lives in Christ, because Christ is our life. In him, we live and move and have our being and and one day Jesus is coming back praise God and his glory will be revealed and we will we the glory will be revealed in us and through us and that what a great day oh, that will be but there'll also be tinged with sadness for those who don't know Jesus for those of our friends our family so we need to get on do what God has called us to do and I encourage you today to get on to do what God has called you to do. You and I, we talked about this on Sunday at church. We are the body of Christ. Each of us has a role to function. Not each of us, you know, only some of us are evangelists, but we're all called to do the work and evangelists to share the good news with, of Jesus. So let's get on and do it. Trust today you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you again tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen.